Welcome back. Rockets rained down in Ukraine this week after Russia's bridge to Crimea was damaged. But on the battlefield, Russia loses, losses are piling up. Is Vladimir losing his grip on power? Is September, in September, Putin's former prime minister, Mikhail Kasyov, predicted this could happen, telling Sky News this. In three or four months, I believe there'll be a critical change, a crucial change. Joining me now, world chess champion uh, and uh, probably the most famous person in Russia living in America, Gary Kasparov. Gary, biggest surprise since this war started is what? There are many surprises, uh, but of course the whole world was, was surprised by the very poor performance of the Russian army which was not a big surprise to me because I knew that uh, uh, Russian corruption and uh, ineffectiveness of totalitarian bureaucracy could play a role. There's people around him that some of you have speculated they'll make a move because Vladimir Putin's army has performed so bad, the humiliation has been so great. How close do you feel Russia is to a revolution in their government, to the collapse of their government? Uh, I don't know about revolution. I would rather deal with the word collapse. Because what we can see now happening on the, on the battlefield is it's, 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 it's all indications about, about this uh, imminent collapse. I think by next spring, Ukraine will be fully liberated, uh, including Crimea and, and the... Uh, you think Ukraine is going to get back everything, including Crimea? Yes, of course. That's, that's the only definition of victory. A anybody who tells you otherwise, you know, is trying to save Vladimir Putin. And the only off ramps for Putin is the way out of Ukraine. That's it, you know. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, you know, if you have this military defeat and no dictatorship, look at Russian history, ever survived uh, the military defeat of that magnitude, then you'll have millions of refugees from Crimea and eastern Ukraine, and then you have a beaten army, angry people, many of them coming back with arms, plus economic collapse. By next spring, Russia will be bankrupt. The sanctions are working. And if those ingredients are not indicators of a collapse, tell me what it is. Well, I, I, I'm, that's why you're here. You're the expert. I don't, I don't see it any other way because on the battlefield, by all reports, Ukraine has got a superior tactics equipment and certainly had the motivation. Now, if things get bad, there's a worry, including from our own president, that he's going to use nuclear weapons. Do you worry about that? Look, we always should worry about about mad dictator that has access to uh, uh, WMDs, uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put it it's just on a on a on a top priority list. Uh, yes, in theory, he can order uh, tactical nuclear nukes to be used. But I don't see how Russian admirals or generals, and they will have to execute this order, will follow him because, look, uh, Putin spent nearly a trillion dollars over the last 10 years to uh, uh, beef up his army. Half of this money or more has been stolen, which means that all these people are multimillionaires. I don't see why they're going to die for Vladimir Putin, because Russia is not a t t classical dictatorship of Stalin or Hitler type. It's more like a mafia. So they, they loyal to Putin because they could see benefits for themselves. Now, dying for him? I don't believe so. And that's why hundreds of thousands have chooses, chose to leave the country Absolutely. rather than go to be drafted. Absolutely. You could see, you know, the Russians are voting with their feet. So this, it's still, it's not, it's not an excuse for my compatriots who, who, who had no um, uh, uh, strengths to oppose Putin at, on the moral ground. But again, it's the support for war is dwindling and Russia is losing. And uh, again, let me repeat, no regime in Russia ever survived the geopolitical military defeat of that magnitude. Gary, thanks so much. Always great to see you. Thank you very much.